In this video, we're going to be making ourselves the axle peg for our model train. Ah, uh, looks just like a little screw here. Basically, this is going to attach the wheels to the body of the train. Okay. A little bit more complex than some of the other pegs we've done, but shouldn't take us too long. So let's go to our file menu and make a new document using a metric template and standard millimeter part. From here, we're going to start a 2D sketch and click on the base plane, which is the XZ plane. Click on that and holding down the wheel on your mouse, just push that center point off to the side. We don't care about that at the moment. We're going to use the line tool first up today. We're simply going to draw a line straight down the page. Make sure it's perfectly straight at 180 degrees and the size you want it is 25 millimeters. So type in 25 and press enter. Now moving to the right at 90 degrees. I want you to type in 3 millimeters and press enter. Come straight back up again at another 90 degree angle. And this time 21 millimeters is the size for our line. Type it in and press enter. Then come across to the right. Doesn't matter what size you make this one because we're about to dimension it. So just come across and click your mouse once and press escape to finish our shape. It's not quite finished yet, but we just want to dimension this line here first of all. So click your dimension tool at the top. Click on the right hand corner of that line and then click on this big line running down the left hand side. Okay. And the size you want to make that is 5.5. Alright, grabbing our line tool again we'll go back to drawing the shape. So over on the right hand side here just click on the far right point and come up one millimeter and press enter and press escape. Grab your line tool again and we're going to start from the very top here and just come across to the right at three millimeters, press enter and press escape. That's most of our screw done. The last thing we need to do now is just connect these two points up here in the top right. We're gonna use an arc to connect those. So up here in your ribbon, grab your arc, click on the first point, click on the second point, make sure your mouse, the little circle on your mouse goes green, you're clicking these. And the size you need to write into this box is just six and press enter. Press escape and you've got your shape drawn so you can finish that sketch off now. And we're going to go up to our revolve feature in the ribbon. Choose axis and click the long side of the shape here. Click OK when you're done and you can see our screw is looking a lot better now. Okay, Looking a bit more 3D, looking a bit more realistic. Next thing I want to do is swing our shape around so you can see the top of it. This little circle here is what we're going to draw our next sketch on. So start another 2D sketch and click this top circle. Zoom in a little bit here. What I want you to do is go to your rectangle tool here and go all the way to the bottom and choose polygon. And make sure it's a six-sided polygon. So that makes it a hexagon. And starting from the middle point, click and drag out. Now you want to have one of the sharper points well, both those sharper points level with that middle line, so it's going to be sitting something like that. Okay, press escape once you've got that drawn. So you need these pointy bits at the top and bottom running parallel with that middle line. And the last thing to do is just dimension this hexagon. So click your dimension button. We're going to click on this top line and this bottom line. Drag out to the side here. And I want you to make it 4 millimeters and press enter. Okay, you can finish your sketch now and just extrude that hexagon. So choose extrude. It's going the wrong way. We actually want it to go back the other way and cut in. So choose the cut option here. And the distance you want it to cut is just three millimeters. Press OK. And you've now got a hole there in the top of your screw. So it can be screwed into whatever it needs to be screwed into. Um, on the bottom of the peg, so flipping around to the bottom here, we want to chamfer. The edges here. So just click on the chamfer button up the top there. The distance, we're going to make it 0 0.8 and just click on this circle here. Click OK. You can see it's just given like a little bit of an angle to that screw there. Alright, and the last thing I want to do is just add a thread to this screw. The way we add a thread is just go to the thread option up the top here. Okay. And we're going to click on this part of the screw. This bit might go a little bit slow on your computer to start with. Okay, but don't worry, we'll go eventually. 
All right, so we want to get rid of full length. We don't want it to run the full length. We just want the length to be 13 millimeters. So it runs up about that far. You've got a little bit of a gap between the head part of the screw there and the rest of it. Uh, we also want to go to this specification tab here, and we're going to change it to the ANSI unified screw threads. The size will be 0 0.25. Designation, you can see a quarter 20 UNC. Class is 2A and it's right hand. So click OK once you've got that and you've now got a thread on your screw. So that's our screw, oh sorry, our axle peg all done. What we're going to do now is just give it a bit of a texture. So I'm going to go up to the appearance panel at the top. Um, oh, it doesn't really matter what you turn this because you can change the colours later on when you put your train together. But I'm just going to put in a galvanised look to it. So highlight your peg. Hover over galvanised and hit the up arrow and that will add the appearance, a galvanised appearance to your peg. Okay, so that's all done. Save that up. See you in the next video.